Hey, this is Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery, and today we are in Sewn It Platinum, and we are going to be making an embossed towel. So I will show you how to set up the software to make an embossed towel. This is what my finished towel looks like. You can see that this is the embossing that was done on the embroidery machine. So all I did was I opened up my Sonet software. I am in the platinum version. I opened up my blank canvas and I chose the hoop I wanted. I like the metal hoops for towels and anything that has a nap because it doesn't uh, give me any kind of hoop burn. Um, if I were to use the regular hoop, um, you could probably see the lines where the the two hoops came together on my towel and that's called a hoop burn. Um, so I'm going to use the 180 by 130 medium metal hoop. And I'm going to go up to the create module and I'm going to choose digitizing. Do not do anything with that finish. And I do not need to do anything here, so I'm going to hit cancel. And I'm just going to go right into quick create. I'm going to use a shape. And I'm going to use a crosshatch fill with a satin line. I'm going to go over here to the fill area. These are all left clicks. I'm going to use a gap of um, 2.5 millimeters. I'm going to choose diamond to start out with. And I'm going to say OK. For my line, I'm going to leave it at 4.0. You could go wider if you wanted. Probably 5.0 would be as thick as you'd want. I'm going to say OK here. And then I'm just going to click Shape. I'm going to hold down my Control button. And I'm going to bring my shape out so it's an oval. I don't want to go beyond my frame here. I'm going to move it up to center it. Okay. I'm going to right click over my film strip panel on number two. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to Scooch that up so they are in line with each other. And I'm going to right click. And go down to properties. Remember a right click brings up a menu. And I'm going to choose square this time. And apply. Say OK. And that gives me my embossing. Now I'm just going to X out up here and it comes back into the main embroidery screen. That's one of the great things about my Sonet software. You don't have to export and then reinsert it. And that's why we didn't hit that finish button to start out with. And from there, we are going to go to the letter tab. And I was using the Astra font. And I typed a name in. So let's see. Whose name do I want? I am going to do, well, I'll just do my name for now. These make great Christmas presents. I'm going to use size 20 and see what it looks like. 
If you find that your lettering is too close together, say you have two L's or an L next to a H or something like that, and it looks like those uh, are going to run together, you can take your gap and do the arrow up and it'll put the spacing between your letters a little farther apart. And I'm going to hit apply. Now, the lettering is too small for the size of my oval, so I'm going to right click and get a menu. I'm going to say edit the lettering, and I'm going to try 30. See what that looks like. Much better. And I'm betting I could probably even go. 33, 35, okay, that looks good, and now I can change things around to see what, uh, my towel was pink, so there's the pink, and I used for my lettering. The other thing that is great about this software is that you can toggle between your different parts of your designs so that you don't have to tab between the different parts. If you had, say, 14 things on your screen, you'd have to tab 14 times to get through them. And in the new Sonet software, you can very easily see which part of the designs you need to work on right over here on the left side. So I used, I believe, that color I did use, and I used a purple, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. Okay. And then all I had to do was I combined it. And there was my embossing for my towel. So then I just uh, took it over and I uh, used a water soluble stabilizer on the top of my towel and a water sol soluble stabilizer on the back of my towel. I stitched it out, um, put the water soluble um, water on the stabilizer, and it dissolved, and everybody was happy. Um, one other thing I was going to mention on this video was I have had people that have asked me um, about colors. Uh, they have a design and it was done in Madeira and they wanted to know what color to use uh, in Robus and Anton or something like that. When you have a design that's done in another thread manufacturer, you can always go down to color and tone. And down here in your thread range, you can say, I have Robus and Anton now, but I'd like to see uh, what Florani or Guterman or Madeira, what those color ranges would be. So if I went with Madeira Rayon 40, and hit OK. Now it would tell me what those same colors would be like in Madeira. So Madeira would be petal pink and Indian Ocean blue and magenta. And if I do a Control Z, hopefully it'll put it right back to my Robus and Anton. Yep. OK. So that is how to do the embossing on towels. They make really great Christmas presents or uh, housewarming gifts or anything like that. And hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this has been Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching. Bye.